Hello everyone. So, um, wala nga hapon, wala nga hapon po. Okay, so, buha pa na ba tayo dyan? Arr! Rawr! How to find standard equation of a circle uh, given a special condition. So there, so there are a lot of conditions that you need to consider for you to find standard equation. Okay? So but before that, let's have first the standard equation of the circle. Well, ano nga ba ang standard equation ng circle? So let's write. So the standard equation of the circle, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared in which h and k is your center and your radius is r. Yeah, that's correct. Again, your center is h and k and your radius is r. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start with our first example. So our first example is very basic. Yeah, so let's start with our first example. Ay! <laughs> that our center is located at the region and our radius is equal to 2 square root of 2 okay so yeah first example that's so simple so let's start center at the origin radius 2 square root of 2 now uh, when we say the center is located at the origin what is the coordinate of course the coordinate of the center na nasa origin, we have 0, 0. Okay? Then, our radius is 2 square root of 2. So, R is equal to 2 square root of 2. After this one, you are going to substitute these values sa standard equation mo to get the answer. So, you have now mm -hmm, x minus h squared plus uh, y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Substitute, diba? This is your h and this is your k. Okay? So you have x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared. Then your r, your r is 2 square root of 2. So you have 2 square root of 2 squared. Of course, the proper way of writing this one, you need to uh, enclose into parentheses, then put squared. Okay, so you have now your final answer, x squared plus y squared is equal to, sir, I have a question, bakit lang siya x squared direct so because if you are going to simplify x minus 0 squared, the answer is x squared. The same with y minus 0 squared, the answer is y squared. So, simplify also the 2 square root of 2 squared, the answer is, hmm? 2 squared is 4 times 2, is what? Anong sagot ng 2 square root of 2 squared? The answer is Okay, so the answer is 2, again, the square of 2 squared of 2 squared is 8. So, this is now the standard equation of the circle given this kind of situation. Okay. So, let's proceed to our second example. We are given center with the coordinates with a coordinate rather, 15 at saka negative 20 and the radius is 9. Okay, so let's, this kind of example is madali lang din. Let's proceed with, uh, with our standard equation. So, we have now the center, uh, 15, negative 20 with the radius of 9. So, substitute your, the value of your h and k. Pero ano yung h and k mo? This is your h and this is your k. Your h is 15 and your k is negative 20. So you have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Substitute the value of your h. Your h is positive 15. So x minus 15 squared plus your k is negative 20. So you have y minus, uh -huh, parenthesis, negative 20 squared is equal to your radius is 9. 
diagram, the radius is 9, so you have 9 squared. Therefore, the standard equation, we have x minus 15 squared plus y. Negative times negative is positive. That is why this is positive 20 is equal to 9 squared is 80. Ito na nakadali ang ating example lang ito. You see with example lang. <laughs> okay, so for our third example, so we have here a situation, center at 5, 6 through 9, 4. So ibig sabihin yan, if you're going to create a, create a graph of a circle, this is the center na 5, 6, itong 9, 4, this is the point, one of the end points of the circle. Okay? And as you have observed, the only present na given na, ma ma na ating masasubstitution dito sa ating standard is the center. Wala kang makikita ng radius, right? So, of course, you need to find the radius first for you to find the standard equation of a circle. Okay, so the missing is the radius. So, how are we going to find the radius given these points or these coordinates? So, we are going to use the distance formula. So, ano ba ba yung distance formula? So, you have D stands for distance, square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Okay, so in which this is your x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, at saka y sub 2. Okay, so we have already our x at saka y uh, coordinates. So you are going to substitute na. Substitute the corresponding value of your x and y's. So you have x sub 2 is 9. 9 minus the x sub 1 is 5. Then don't forget to put squared after plus your y sub 2 is 4 minus your y sub 1 is 6 squared. So you have uh -huh, 9 minus 5 squared, we have 4 squared plus 4 minus 6 is negative 2 squared. So you have 4 squared is 16 plus negative 2 squared is 4, so square root of 20. And square root of 20, we can still factor out this one into its simplest form. Okay, so the square root of 20 is equivalent to, so the distance now is 2 square root of 5. Square root of 20 is 2 square root of 5 because if you are going to factor out 20, uh, we have 4 and 5. Okay, in which 4 is the perfect square, square root of 4 is 2, so 2 square root of 5. So it means the distance between the center and this point is 2 square root of 5 and that is your radius. In this, in this problem, our center now is 5 and 6, and the radius is equal to 2 square root of 5. Okay, so since we already have, we already have our center at saka the radius, so let's have our standard equation. Substitute x minus the values is your h and k, x minus 5 squared plus y minus 6 squared is equal to your r squared, substitute 2 squared to 5 squared. So your final answer, x minus 5 squared plus y minus 6 squared is equal to 2 squared to 5 squared is 20. And this is now the standard equation of the, of the circle given this kind of condition. And for our fourth example, we have this kind of condition in which the center is located at negative 2 and 3, which is in quadrant 2, at saka the tan and it is tangent to the x-axis. So actually, class, uh, my shortcut ako nito, and this is applicable to all, this is true to all. So you have this kind of situation, di ba? The given is the center only, at hindi natin alam yung radius. Again, ang given is ang center lang, pero yung radius ang missing. So, paano hanapin yung radius? Na ito lang yung klase ang condition. Take note of this one. To find the radius, you have, since this is tangent, remember? Tangent. Tangent to x, to the x-axis. So, x-axis, take note, tangent to the x-axis, the formula that you are going to use, you have radius is equal to absolute value of okay, right? absolute value of k. 
Saan ba makikita ang K? Dito. Di ba? This is your H and K. Tama? The formula is, if ever x axis, so the radius is equal to the absolute value of K. So you have now, what is the value of K? We have 3. So absolute value of 3, we have, the radius is 3. So meron na tayong center, meron na tayong radius, Okay, so we cannot find our standard equation. Okay, to sub substitute to our standard equation, y x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Substitute na x minus your h is negative 2. Again, this is your h and k. So negative 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to your radius is 3 squared. So the final answer, x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 9. So let's have a recap lang. I think um, yung important a note lang na inyong i-memorize or you're going to understand kapag ganito yung situation, center, then tangent to the x-axis, x-axis. So the formula that you're going to use, radius is equal to the absolute value of k. Okay, so take note of that one. For our fifth example, so medyo may kaibahan lang ang fifth at saka fourth example ng context. So we have here our situation, the center is located at negative 2 and 3, but this is tangent to the y-axis. In example number 4 natin kanina, tangent to the x-axis yon. But this time, the focus is that this tangent to the y-axis. Okay? So, sir, almost same lang yung formula. Yes, almost same. Okay? Pero, the formula now, since this is tangent to the y-axis, so the formula that you are going to use, you have radius is equal to the absolute value of h. Okay? Kanina, ay, kanina yung previous example natin, tangent to the x-axis, yun, kaya uh, radius is equal to the absolute value of k. But this time, our tangent, our circle is tangent to the x-axis, to the y-axis rather. So radius is equal to the absolute value of your h. So, find the radius. H is negative 2. So, R is equal to 2. So, we already have now our center and radius, which is 2. Substitute. Okay. Substitute, so you have X minus negative 2 squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to, I know, your K rather, your K is 3. Is equal to R squared, which is 2 squared. For your final answer, X plus 2 squared plus Y minus 3 squared is equal to 4. And this is now the answer of our given question. Okay, so for our example number 6, we have this type of situation in which the center is located, is same pa rin, negative 2 and 3, but this is tangent to the line y is equal to h. Different equation, different equation na naman. So how are we going to find the equation? First, we need to find the radius first. Okay, okay hindi man present yung radius, so we need to find the radius. But how are we going to find the radius given that this is tangent to the line y is equal to h? So take note of this formula. Actually, ako rin what I mean. So you have radius is equal to the absolute value of your k minus the, your y. Yun na. Saan nakikita yung k? k is located at your center. Dito. Di ba? It's your k. At saka yung y. Yung y is ito. Yung given value ng y. Now, if you're going to substitute na, the value of your k is 3 minus the value of your y is 8. So you have 3 minus 8 is negative 5. So the absolute value of negative 5, you have 5. So the radius is equal to 5. So ganyan lang siya, kadali. So we have already our center. Then, nakita na natin yung radius natin. So our equation now, we have, yeah, substitute sa ating given sa the equation, you have x plus 2 squared is uh, plus y minus 3 squared is equal to, this is 5 squared, this is our radius is 5. So, 5 squared is 25. So, this is now the equation of the given condition. 
Yeah. So for our example number seven, yeah, uh, this is just a similar example, the previous example natin, but meron siyang twist because the given condition is iba na. Tangent to the line x is equal to negative 10. So we have here the situation, center negative 2, 3, but tangent to the line x is equal to negative 10. So how are we going to find the set, the equation again? Of course, we need to find the radius kasi, yes, you can see, wala kang nakikita ang radius dito. But what is the formula? Paano pa malaman yung radius dito? So you have, this is a different situation kasi tangent to the line x na yun siya, x na yun. So pag x siya, so it should be the formula that you are going to use, r is equal to h minus x. Okay? This is the formula that you are going to use to find the radius if it is tangent to the line x is equal to negative 10. So, for me, what about the formula? So you have absolute value of h, h is negative 2, minus your x is negative 10, so your radius is equal to negative 2 minus negative 10 is positive 8. So you have absolute value of positive 8 is equal to 8. So, meron na tayong radius. Diba? Ang dali lang. So, your center is negative 2 and 3 and your radius is 8. Just substitute to our given standard equation. This is your h and k. Yeah. So you have now x minus x plus, rather x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 8 squared. The radius is 8. So 8 squared is 64. And this is now the standard equation of the circle given that it is tangent to the line x is equal to negative 10.